Lesson 42, thankfully, is a little short, so let's go through this. Um, you're given something that's not in slope-intercept form, so they want you to solve for it. Um, the, the trick is to put my, uh, 9x first. You'll just, I as a habit, do this. And then divide by 2. When you divide by 2, don't sweep through and divide by 2 on both sides. You want to take every term and divide it by 2 and keep the 2 by the numbers. Keep doing this for MA104 as well. It'll save you a lot of grief. Um, and that's what goes in here. They have it as decimals. You can put it as decimals. It'll work. In part number two, they want to know which following of the following functions are increasing. They're all lines. So you have to put it into y equals mx plus b form and uh, determine if that m, the slope, is positive or not. So let me show you something. Um, in Mathematica, let's open it up. You can make life easy for yourself without making mistakes by just opening up a Mathematica worksheet and having it do all the algebra for you. I, I'm not a, I, he did call this uh, uh, math that's um, pretty much boring. So let's, let's look at what he has here. Uh, so the command is solve with a capital S. You go nine times X plus two times Y, uh, uh, or yeah, two times Y, and plus 17 is equal to zero. And you put two equal signs, double equals zero, and tell it to solve for y. And see what it does? It'll give you, you'll have to do a little bit of simplification. If you want to, you could copy and paste this down one more and go expand percentage. And it will expand it. And you can see minus 9 halves, minus 17 halves. I think I made a minus 10 error um, in, in this. I didn't see the plus 17. I thought it was on the other side. But you see, like, I'm capable of making errors. Everybody makes errors. If they tell you they don't, they're not being honest with you. And so uh, Mathematica doesn't make errors. You type it in there. It will do it for you. Um, if you do have trouble with number 2 or solving anything or you can't see why your answer is wrong and you're not in my section, just text me. Um, my number is here if you have an issue. Here you're given data and you're asked to find the, the model between these two points. And so um, they give you the first and last points in this data set. You're, they want you to choose any of the points. That's one way to make a model. And so to, you're estimating the parameter M, um, which is the slope of this line. And so um, you label as traditionally X1, X2, Y1, X2, Y2. Uh, from these two data points that was pulled from the table, and you'll get this 4.2. Now, they want you to use the value uh, of m and that first point. There's a number of ways to find b. Uh, sometimes I use point-slope formula. Sometimes I use uh, y equals mx plus b. Today, I'm going to use point-slope because that's what I feel like. That's the kind of mood I'm in. And so I put y minus y1 is m times x minus x1. And I'm lazy. I'm just going to do this in Mathematica, so uh, I don't want to solve anything anymore today. Um, so let me bring up my worksheet and pull it over here. So you've got 4.2 for the slope. So I want um, solve y minus y1 is equal to m, which is 4.2, times x minus uh, x1, which is 30, and then shift enter, boom, and it gives it to me. Um, so it's 4.2x uh, plus 1358. And there must be some kind of round off error because they say 1360 here. Um, it's not. It's 1358 because Mathematica said so. Unless I plugged something in wrong. I don't think I did, though. All right. So the next question is uh, what to predict when x is 48. So you just go copy and paste this thing right here, down here, and then put in times 48. It's 15, uh, 59.6. Uh, they want you to round it up to 1560. So it looks like there's round off discrepancy, but hey, it got me my answers that I need. 
And if you do have issues with this uh, using Mathematica, let me know. And I can peek into your, uh, if you're in my section, at least I can peek into your homework and let you know why it's not showing up the way it is. So that's lesson 42. And I will see you this week.